Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. I was talking to my friend CH just the other day and he said, Cap, I've made a bunch more stuff for DCS. Hello CH. Hello. He has recently added to game the Centurion CRAM from America and NASAMS 3 from America slash Norwegian Coalition. What we thought we would use this for is last week we did this the recently added russian missile system the ishkander hypersonic and subsonic missile systems we tested them to see which sam defense systems could intercept those missiles sa-10s sa-12s sa-15s sa-19s gepards or the american patriot system now we're going to test some more systems we're going to try centurion CRAM, nasems 2 nasems 3 Iris T SLS and see if any of these can intercept Ishkanda M or Ishkanda K. First, a very quick reminder of the Ishkanda. There are two variants, M and K. M fires two large hypersonic missiles, while the K variant fires four subsonic long-range cruise missiles. Now, let's look at the Blue Coalition. Recently added from 2006, the American Centurion CRAM. CH, tell us about this system, please. Yeah, it's uh, basically a sea based uh, uh, CWIS uh, Phalanx 1B, the latest version, but mounted on a hemp uh, heavy uh, duty track. It has all the features uh, of the original uh, sea based uh, CWIS, and it is called also the, uh, the land based uh, Phalanx, uh, which has the 20 millimeter. Gatling gun with 50-50 rounds, just like the C version. Bursch fires 4,500 rounds per minute, but it's a different kind of ammunition because this, these are to be used in, in areas where there could be people and stuff you don't want to, to uh, be destroyed. Mm -hmm. So the MPT-SD, the SD stands for self-destruct. So the ammunition will self-destruct after around, uh, I think it's somewhere between two, two, two and a half thousand meters. And then as the, the naval version, it has the uh, search and track radar, uh, the funny looking stuff on top, in a range of 10 uh, nautical miles uh, for the search radar and five nautical miles for the track radar. It also has uh, a FLIR system to, to be able to see in, in the dark. Do we know what this was designed to intercept? Just anything flying? That's a good point because it's called CRAM. Uh, it's a counter uh, rocket artillery and mortar. That's an interesting point because uh, that's the three things we can't counter in DCS. Right. <laughs> okay, very good. I love this. Take a hammer and just put a massive self-guiding, radar-guided naval Gatling gun on it. Americans can do some really cool stuff, and this is a, a good example of it. Okay, very good. Next, you've added in the NASAMS 3, but to understand that, maybe we should go back and look at NASAMS 2. NASAMS 2 was a joint venture from America and Norway to create a modular, cheap, low to medium range surface to air missile system. And I should say at this point, all of these mods from CH will be available from the link in the video description if you want to go and play with them, all freely available as ever. And NASAMS 2 fires AMRAM missiles, doesn't it? AMRAM Bravo and AMRAM Charlie. Have I got that right, CH? Yes, that is correct. So these are active missiles with their own seeker heads in them with a range of just under 10 nautical miles. That was NASAMS 2. We don't have NASAMS 1. Then from 2020, we have NASAMS 3. Can you talk us through NASAMS 3? Because uh, the, the NASAMS 2 with the uh, AMRAM uh, 120 uh, uh, B and C, uh, since the, the, these missiles are made to be fired uh, uh, from uh, an aircraft, uh, so that means that the range when fired from the ground would be rather limited. So they needed something a little, little better, a bit a better booster, a longer range, and that's uh, with the Nasons tree. They uh, remade some of these uh, canisters to be able to fit a new missile, which is the Amram ER, which actually is a RIM 162 ESSM booster with a 120 Amram 120 seeker. So it's a pretty good combination, uh, and we, it will take it a lot further, like up to 40 kilometers, uh, or like, well, yeah, you can see, yeah, exactly, 27 nautical miles. So, uh, yeah, that's the main difference. And uh, also, I 
took the opportunity to make uh, the complete SAM site mobile as well, since that's absolutely possible. I've seen uh, several configurations with Nasam Street based on a truck, uh, so that yeah, so we in game can move them around, deploy them, and then have them firing. <laughs> this is great as well because they've literally made a SAM system out of a couple of old trucks. I mean, the CP <laughs> is like a truck with a trailer on the back, or well, not even a trailer, a tiny <laughs> porter cabin. The radar is a truck with a tiny little radar thing on the back of the pickup. And AMRAM, so AMRAM EL, let me get this right. It was ESSM, the thing that's fired from ships, but yep. they just put an AMRAM seeker head in it. Exactly. Right. And so instead of a sub 10 mile range from NASAMS 2, we now have nearly 30 nautical miles. So that's well into the range yeah. of medium range SAM system and affordable one as well. The only problem with, I suppose, something like Patriot, which is obviously an awesome system, but it costs big money every time you fire around. It's millions, whereas something yeah, like this exactly. is going to be a lot more sustainable. And it's, easy it's easier and quicker to deploy, and you also have uh, it's it's more a distributed system. I mean, the radar here is to pick up and track the targets, but as soon as you fire, the missile will take care of themselves. You can actually fire a complete battery since everyone has its own seeker. We should quickly go over Iris T. It's not new. Uh, CH made this as well, but we've covered it several times. It consists of, of a European uh, giraffe radar and the launchers themselves are these guys what's this um kind of vehicle called uh, ch bvs uh, it's, a, yep. it's a wagon here yeah exactly i think they have them in the uk also. we do we do we use them yeah. as well yeah yeah exactly called the viking sometimes and it has uh, it's a pretty simple mount of uh, four uh, open mounted without canisters uh, uh, standard iris t sls which is the same iris t as they put on a eurofighter or a gripen uh, there is also an SLM version with a larger booster and all that, but this is the standard version. It's the same concept because you can use the same kind of missiles that you have for aircraft on the base, uh, the ground-based stuff. So what we're seeing again here is another example of a highly mobile, affordable, effective SAM system where you're firing just slightly modified missiles that would otherwise be fired from aircraft. So it's a, it's a very sustainable way of doing it. Right, so that's briefly covered uh, CRAM, NASAM 2, NASAM 3, Iris T, SLS, or we're actually using the uh, Swedish variant of it, but it's, you know, it's neon identical. And the Ishkanders we've looked at before. Are any of these drivable as player? Yeah, the CRAM is full. Uh, you can drive it and you can uh, fire it. No problem. I, I had never, you, you can't drive the NASA and you can't fire them. Mm. I only made them AI drivable. Yeah. Uh, and Iris T SLS is uh, drivable, but you can't fire them since, yeah. Uh, that, that's actually something I, I could mention because a lot of people are asking for that, uh, make them uh, uh, human playable, fireable uh, missiles. The issue with that is I can make that. The problem is that it will mess up the uh, simultaneous targets, uh, the amount of simultaneous targets I can have with the radars. So we, I will have to make a much simpler version like the ones ED makes, and then it will mess up the AI since every AI will only have one simultaneous target. And that doesn't do very well. <laughs> so as the previous war game, it's super simple. We have a target we must defend. It's this building here. It's full of something critical, underpants or some such. It's defended by a bunch of watchtowers, which are useless. So our first system that we're going to be defending it with will be a battery of four units of CRAM. Everything today will be set to excellent skill level and red state. So they're ready to fire. 100 statute miles away are the Ishkanders. One unit of each. We're going to start with the K model first, launching four subsonic cruise missiles. As ever, nothing here is tested or scripted. We're literally going to plonk the units in and whatever happens, happens. If we get embarrassed, then we get embarrassed. But Four Centurions versus four cruise missiles traveling about 450 knots CH. How do you think this is going to go? Uh, they're going to struggle, I believe. Uh, I mean, it, let's, let's not forget the, what the RAM stands for. <laughs> hmm. It's it's counter very slow flying things. Uh, I mean, rocket artillery and mortars aren't the same as hypersonic missiles. Roger. Oh, yeah. In fact, viewers, uh, let me just show you an example of being able to drive the C-RAM. I'm going to go to slot, Game Master. Getting a C-RAM. Oh, look, it shows me the ammo. 1,550 yeah. rounds. Yeah, you have your radar. Yeah, exactly. Put the stabilizer on, yeah. Yep. Um, all models today will be typical CH spec, which is basically at least as good as core game, which is awesome. Viewers, first time, get ready. 
<laughs> I blew me own freaking C Rams up. <laughs> it's too much fun, it's silly. Look at that freaking destruction. Now, how much damage does this have to you? It's freaking loads. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a large, large canister. Right, value viewers, uh, that was absolutely no point of doing that at all, but that was freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm going to reset because I blew all my own guys up. That was very childish. Let's go back and do it properly. So, Ishkander K with the four cruise missiles. Go! They're firing from 100 miles away, so they'll take ages. You've seen all this before in the previous video. It all looks very cool. Missiles pop out and then they pop down. So, very low range of 1.1 nautical miles. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, when it said the search radar was about 10 miles, was that right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's correct. Uh, and then the, the track radar is half of that. So, that's the, why they don't really like the super fast stuff because they don't have that much time to, to react. Roger. Okay, well, they're just coming within 10 miles now, so theoretically, search radar should pick them up. Which angle are they coming from? Uh, coming from that angle. Yeah. Missiles are very much on their way. Are they going to work, CH? Are they going to work? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> there is something with these sessions. Things that work right? otherwise doesn't work here. <laughs> I know. That's that's. It's the, the the beauty of the camera, I'm afraid. The H it does it to pretty much everything I do, to be honest. Graphics. Graphics are getting better and better. Look at this, Viewingtons. I am a graphic. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to pause. I don't want to be that guy. No, two miles. All right. You, you, you can see the line, the circle, the yeah. closest circle is yeah. pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's keep going. Yes, it's aimed. Look, in that, yeah, just that time we were looking there. All right, viewers. I don't know what to look at, really. A thing, I guess. There it is. Ooh. Oh, look Ooh. at that. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You can see them explode there. Yes, it got <laughs> them. Oh, did you see it, viewers? Oh, the yeah, thing ever. It is very satisfying. So I could be doing this um, myself as a human, viewers, but obviously it will yeah. pollute the results. Plus I would definitely miss. Look how many rounds go out. Take a, take one down. Yeah. Oh my god, it got through! <laughs> <laughs> well done, all four down. CH, you've excelled yourself. Yeah. Very clever. Yeah, that works very well. Yeah. Do we have the... Um, the detonator, I forgot what the phrase was, self-detonating or whatever it is, ammo yeah, in the game. Yeah, you, you can see all the explosions mm -hmm. uh, when the fire just behind it. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at the model while we're here. Is that the ammo drum there, CH? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's the yeah. Gatling gun. Is it an M61? Yeah, exactly. It's the same they use a lot of their aircraft. Yeah. Debatably the world's best gun viewers. And yeah. this is all the radar cabins. Yep, exactly. Yeah, look at that. I really want one in my garden now. I'm going to try and convince my wife. They can't be that expensive. They must be mass-produced. Yes. Right, viewers. Um, there's only one thing to do now, which is to launch a frigging hypersonic missile at it. Right, CH. So we're now going from the K version to the M Ishkander version. This thing is going to have a terminal velocity of... I can't remember what we figured. It was like Mark 5 or something. Yeah, so it's yeah, going to go like... Fast. Do you think there's any way uh, that CRAM can shoot this thing down, uh, game, and then real life? In real life, I, I, I highly doubt it. I mean, in game, yeah, we had limitations, but also... Uh, the other factors in game which can't be uh, really uh, emulated so if it has the time to turn around and start firing in the correct direction at all might stand a chance i mean it's a pretty good dispersion with uh, m61s so you can actually it, it just takes one round roger uh here's a problem then uh if it can only detect a target at 10 miles 10 mile search radar this thing covers 10 miles yeah, in exactly. like a second and a half because it's moving at Mark 6, Mark 7, whatever it is. So I'm not sure you've even got the time, the motor time to turn your turret on the thing. Uh, it turns uh, 150 degrees uh, per second. Right. It's quite fast. So, so, it takes a couple, so it takes a couple of seconds to turn. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. So this, it will turn, is it like half a turn here? Yeah, it, it's yeah, exactly. It's, it's probably not even have the time. Roger, viewers, and look how quickly we, we saw the uh, subsonic variant. That took minutes, several minutes, 10 minutes or whatever it was to get 100 miles. This covers, this is real time. This covers 100 miles in just a few seconds. 
Yeah. Like literally, look how fast this thing goes. It's going nearly 4,000 knots. Absolute beast of a web web. There are two of them coming. <laughs> yeah, there are indeed two of them coming. And they still look like comedy missiles. Yeah. You're a comedy missile. <laughs> but yeah, but it's not the uh, Attacams. That's the worst one. Mm hmm. Yeah, so tag <laughs> Attacams is just stupid. Yeah. God, I love it. It looks so friggin' menacing, Buingtons. Right. I'm going to pause it just because this is going to happen very quickly, obviously. We'll see roughly where we are at the moment. It's this science at the end of the day, viewers. And science, as you all know, is very important. So it's 10 miles. Yeah, it should be turning around, around pretty soon. All right. So, viewers, I guess we watch here, question mark. I wonder if we can see it coming in. Yeah. It's up there. It's a terrible angle the other ones came out. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's... Probably oh, correct. I'm it... looking at the wrong direction. Where are they? They're now, oh my god, they're only four miles now. Yeah, it's a couple of seconds here. <laughs> Where are they? There's, there it is. Oh, 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 oh my oh. god, it's too late. Too late. Yeah, in exactly. Time. It was pretty fast, but not fast. Wow, enough. look at that. Viewers, that's why I had to keep pausing it because the thing moves so fast. Yeah. It, you know, it takes a fraction of a second. No chance. Didn't even get off a round, CH. Yeah. Oh, it's got another one coming in, yeah. so let's. Um, Let's watch yeah. that. Yeah, it's too fast. Too fast. Yeah. I've sonic yeah. too fast. Right. First bit of empirical data in. CRAM smashes subsonic cruise missiles and can't even rotate fast enough to shoot hypersonic missiles. Welcome back, viewers. Next, NASAM 2 from 2006. Now, SAM placement, as we found from the last video, is incredibly important. It affects how useful the SAM is at shooting. This is a sh moderately shore ad system, so we're doing about a thousand feet behind and slightly offset to the targets. The best we think um, it's going to be useful for. We've otherwise got them set max skill level, red alert, ready to go. They are the correct NASAMS battery size of three launchers, one CP, and a search radar. Predictions against subsonic cruise missile Ishkandar. Can they even? Are they even designed to shoot missiles? Can they? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah, mm. I, I think it's yeah. It should definitely be able to do it. Uh, I think it's more a question of where we replace them and if they have the, the booster to, to uh, yeah, get there in time. Roger. All right, Viewingtons. So range, well, let's see what the range says. It should uh, be the... Eight miles, eight nautical miles, yeah. about 10 statute miles. Yep, that's about what we thought. Now, you're going to tell me, viewers, an Amram can go 50 miles, but yes, it can up at 40,000 feet. Down here at sea level, pretty much, it can only go less than 10 miles. So that's uh, that's air pressure for you, I'm afraid. And this time we, it will be interesting to see. You remember it could maybe take out one or two. Let's mm -hmm. see how they deal with the several threats. That's mm -hmm. always an Achilles heel, as we can see with the SAMs. Right, well, we've got plenty uh, of missiles. We've got six per launcher, so that's uh, 18? 18. Yeah. There, it's turning. It was, it's turning. Yeah, but they need, they need to fire more than a couple of them also. It's the C variant of the Amram viewers, and off it goes. Yeah, oh, they actually are. Yeah, yeah. That's going to work. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive. I'm just going to pause it there because it's an interesting talking point. Last time, viewers, we were mainly testing 1980s yeah. technology S300, uh, S300V, or SA12 from the 1980s, SA. 15 from the 1980s, Tunguska from the 1980s, Gepard. We're not sure which Gepard variant we've got, but it could be from the 1980s. So very much 1980 stuff, which is the most stuff that's in Ukraine at the moment, which is what Ishkander is yeah. being fired against. Now we're facing European slash US systems built within the last 20 years. So as you can see the difference, right? Sorry, I'll stop yapping now, viewers. Yeah. I just want yeah. to see roughly Yeah, what we, we are as shocked as you viewers that technology has evolved in 20 years. Can you believe it? The technology <laughs> involved in 20 30 years i'm a surprise yeah exactly oh look it's getting smashed mm. 100 pk viewers i give you 2006 norwegian us nasam's two okay it didn't have 100 percent pk then no no but but it's, it's very good that they are spamming them because that's better in these cases we have found uh, to hit something, you need to fire more than one. So that's yeah. that's pretty good. Also, uh, if you notice how good the radar is, because there was no yeah. line of was no real. Well, there was a line of sight, obviously, but but you remember those S three hundreds? How terrible they were picking uh, yeah. the, these missiles up. This modern radar, small as it is, I absolutely found those suckers and smashed them. The development of the radars, yeah, exactly. I think that's an X band three uh, D radar. Wow. Yeah. 
It shows how tech can now be miniaturized into that. Something I could fit on the back of my Suzuki car, viewers. That's yeah. a freaking awesome. Look, they've even got seatbelts. Yeah. Hey, I can just take <laughs> that down to the shop. We can take GR Baby down to the friggin' shops in this yeah. thing. That's cool. It's a uh, G-Class Mercedes. G-Class Mercedes. Wow. Okay. It's a little posher than I thought. CH. Right. <laughs> that was great. Um, next, of course, we're going to lob a hypersonic at 2006 Nace Ams. <gasps> Predict me. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't bet too much on them. See, it's just not going to bet on them. Making this shot. Yeah, mm, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, yeah, they're going to have to travel very fast uh, and very accurately. To I'm going to put my neck out and say they're going to fire, but they're going to miss. Why? Well, yeah. because Amram was never designed to take out a Mark V, Mark VI missile viewers. It's designed to take yeah. out, really, a Mark II plane at best. Yeah, yeah, we have, we have seen much more advanced missiles during these tests uh, fail at this. Yeah. And it is right, really yeah. hard. I mean, that's, yeah. and, and it's true, that's how it should be. That's why Russia spends so much money and China on this tech, because it's hard to shoot down something that moves so quick. Mm. Right. I mean, we've seen the ship's test we've done with SM6, mm -hmm. SM2s, and the ESSMs. We know it's hard. Right. Now, catching this camera is always difficult, viewers, because this thing, freaking thing moves so fast. So we're still way without outside range. Okay, are they going to fire? I guess we're just going to sit here, viewers, and just watch. Are they going to fire? Are they going to fire? Are they going to fire? I think the max uh, altitude is 20, 21 kilometers for the Nations 2. That's not happening. That's about to smack down. Oh, didn't even aim. <laughs> Couldn't even be bothered to aim. Jesus, that thing <laughs> coming in at Mark 5, viewers. Look at it. And we watch another one's going to come in. No. Didn't even fire. Didn't so even fire. It's, is, it, is it the radar? Is it the can't find a fire solution at all i mean that's Weird. interesting i mean as we found out it's not with just that that is it's not cheating viewers it's got a big radar cross section it can mm -hmm. be seen by radar easily for some reason these guys are just like can't can't does not compute computer says no right well okay well let, let's ramp it up to nasam's three i suggest first against subsonic cruise missile this should be academic any um doubts about shooting cruise missiles down they should definitely definitely be able to do it should pick it up early and fire at longer range. Should definitely do it. Is ESSM a bigger missile than AMRAM physically? Do we know? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Are that Viewington's a thing? What it's are more, these? More, more what, is, what are these masks? Yeah, that's a good question. They're things. Uh, I believe they're some kind of thing, viewers. Yeah, it might be for the data link because they introduced the the data link, the link 16, it is. Yeah. Now that's interesting. Does that mean they can hook up to an AWACS? Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, as you can see, obviously, viewers, uh, top-notch modeling, but you just expect that as a baseline from now on. Right, let's get these uh, missiles on the go. Now, they're not going to fire at 27 miles, viewers, because these are going low. Oh. And it just so yeah. happens that the planet is spherical, uh, despite <laughs> popular opinion, despite CH's opinion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. don't, yeah, don't... Yeah, exactly. Don't tell me that kind of stuff. Exactly. So um, they're not going to fire until they come over the horizon. Uh, let's take some time to have a little look here. So big. They really are big girth. Look at the size of those. They're like, oh, yeah. they're heavy monsters. Look at the thickness of yeah, them. Yeah, it's a much bigger booster or uh, fuel. And these are even small compared to something like an SM6 or an SM2. Oh, so you know what? Someone sent me a picture. I don't know if I passed it on to you or not. They have actually fired SM6s from Super Hornets. Are you aware of that before? <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't send it to you. That. I'll send it to you. Yep. It was actually used it as an air to ground variant, an anti ship weapon. <laughs> Viewers, a massive SM6. They hooked it up to a Super Hornet and fired it from 100 miles away as a freaking awesome anti ship weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, they give you United States of America. Well, did it, did it, was it the opposite? They hooked up the Hornet on the missile. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It was using the wings from the missile <laughs> to fly. <laughs> yeah. Right, viewers, this is where it doesn't work and CH gets all embarrassed, but uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. Come on, fire. I just say that my version is more realistic. There it is. Uh, we'll speed it uh, forward a bit. We don't want to waste your valued viewing time. Nope, oh, I saw turning. Mm -hmm. He's a turner. Right, watch these massive ESSMs, viewers. Mm. Yeah. Pause it. Let's have a look at one. Oh, next follow-up question. Why aren't these on the wings of airplanes, then? Being launched yeah. from aeroplanes, isn't that's another that's another thing. Yeah, uh, maybe it's something that the 260 would look like. Because they're vectored thrust, they're vectored thrust, aren't they, CH? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could have vectored thrust ESSMs with AMRAM seeker heads being fired fired from rap well maybe not a raptor, but being fired from super bogs yeah. and stuff viewing. Why the heck not? That's 
a good shot. Okay, man. Yeah, probably, probably tested everything by now. Big funky yes, politi one. Politics also, you know, not just performance. There's some politics involved in yeah. this operation. <laughs> right. Who would have thought that? Politics destroys everything that's good. That's what I've learned. Right. Here they come. Big fatty SSM, which I'm now a fan of, as of now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that's coming at some not. Oh, one missed. Yeah. Could there be leakage? Ewington, I that's highly doubt it. It really is interesting. That. Are we in our min? No, we're not. I can see one coming up for it. Oh, bang, bang. Yeah. All right. Well, we all thought that was going to happen, obviously. Um, yeah, and I try, try not to to fake the 100% PK with these because that's very unrealistic. Yep. So I, um, I should yeah. say, uh, if you've not been keeping touch lately, viewers, CH has been going through uh, his myriad of assets that he's creating, and he got his first stage was to get them firing at a thing and just working roughly. The next stage is going back. He's redoing them all. Uh, I know that because I have to sit and re-download them all. I know it's so hard pressing the download button. Um, and um, he's, he's making, he's adding a lot more realism to them. He's adding failure rates and stuff like that, as you would see in real life. Nothing's perfect. You know. Okay, big boom boom. <laughs> right, oh, predictions, uh, CH. Uh, Amram ER. Uh, yeah, we have, with these, I mentioned we have 21 kilometers max altitude uh, mm -hmm. with the other one. These ones have almost like 36 kilometer. Mm -hmm. What's that in nautical miles? But it's far more almost a double double yeah. of altitude which actually helps with these kind of missiles right okay well let's go and um watch from mother goose viewingtons is are oh, they're gonna have enough reaction time and processing time and movement time or whatever they need to shoot them down or are they just gonna ignore it again who knows come on asam 3 come on asam 3 yes it opened yeah <laughs> stop it fired <laughs> it did it viewington willing yeah. Boington. Right, let's watch from here and then we'll slow down. This, this is the hard one. Now it's going to have to match the trajectory here. We have seen it before. It looks good, but you never yep. know. And what I would have done, I would have fired everything at that point. Yeah, because, yeah chances exactly. are of hitting this first one is pretty yes, slim. Exactly. Right, you're going to have to try and watch for it. You're going to need the intercept velocity. is going to be so big on this. Yeah, the balls on the guy there firing just one missile. Yep. Put everything on that one. <laughs> He's a gambling man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna hit. It's gonna freaking hit. Oh, ho, ho! <laughs> first time tested on Grim Reaper's value viewing distance. We shot a frigging ballistic missile down. Wowie! Look at that. Big, sexy. Big. Oh, hello. Maysam's three. Three years old, and it appears to be a real piece of kit. Do it again. Do it again. Do a wheelie burn. Got it. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, how realistic? No one knows, right? If CH yeah. just puts the public data in, he adds the numbers from Wiki and the other places in and presses the go button. Uh, that's the yeah. maximum control. But as the best we can do with public data, yes, an AMRAM ER ESSM hybrid can shoot down Ishkanda. Do you reckon I could do that in real life? I Maybe. Maybe. I, yeah, exactly. I would agree. Maybe because it has the, the actual performance uh, specs to do it. I mean, with a b much larger boost. I mean, the ESSM is actually made to to intercept some of these missiles, so it, it's not impossible. But uh, yeah. Yeah, fair point. Uh, also, you've yeah. got a bigger warhead. You've got a bigger warhead than an Amram in here, so yeah. you don't need to get as close. I mean, as it happened, they were getting pretty close, but you don't need to get as close. And one thing, one more thing to add for you viewers. The real Ishkanda and real Ishkanda type missiles will actually um, do a terminal maneuver, kind of S maneuvers, yeah, to, to make them harder correct. to hit. We can't do that in game. We can just fire the thing and it, and it lobs over, almost like an artillery shell. Yeah. In real life, they will actually do a little bit of S bending to uh, make them harder to hit. Uh, but ESSM will kind of counter that a bit by having a funky great warhead on it, so it doesn't need to get so close. How interesting. Right. Things are really hotting up now, CH. Okay, also the maximum overload on this missile is like 50 to 60 G, wow. so they can actually, yeah, uh, maneuver s somewhat even in, in transit. Roger, and we've modeled that in our version, correct? Yep. Uh, we're going to move back in time now, 1998, and I had no idea this was this old. Uh, this is 25 years old now. This is Virus T S L S. Yeah. Uh, Sounds very old when you put it like that, 98. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> that makes me very old right. when you say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Cruise missiles, CH. Predictions, and then we'll talk a bit about the missile system. These are the uh, air guided, uh, as opposed to the former ones we saw, which were uh, actuator homing. 
Uh, but they are very uh, short, pretty short range, but they are very agile. That's the whole point. You know, the 180 degrees turns in, in dogfights. These are actually made super thrust vectoring. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, they're yeah. viewing to movement. Uh, these were made by yeah. Germany? Question mark? Yeah, yeah. It's the maybe, yeah. How much difference do you think there is between the plane fired variant and this variant? I mean, there's got to be some difference, right? Yeah, it's uh, software, I think. So software difference, the missile is yeah. pretty much a carbon copy. How about that? Yeah, yeah. It, it should be the same, yeah. Right. All right. Um, remind, remind me of its range. RSC does not have a huge range. I mean, it's 20 miles, but that's at 40,000 feet. Um, what do you reckon kind of range down here? I guess. Yeah, it's from the half that. Yeah, exactly. But it's pretty... 10 miles. Yeah. These ones, they should probably... If Yeah, it is the range that's the issue here. Mm -hmm. uh, but as I, as I said, they man maneuver very, very well, so... They can actually uh, fire pretty late, but still catch up since they can maneuver as well. Here's a for these slower targets. Why do you think they are they fire directly upwards rather than at 45 degrees or something like the other ones? Because you don't really, if, if you don't really know where the targets are going to be. I mean, that's what we're seeing a lot of the newer SAM sites. Yes, uh, it's it's pretty popular now just to fire it straight up. You lose yeah. some speed on it, but uh, yeah, you have 360 coverage. Boom. And I mean, these are sure as they are there to protect other SAM systems. And... So the target is found by the giraffe radar viewers, data yeah. sent through to the missiles, and, and that's it. Yeah, that's a, good, a pretty good radar and a good radar coverage, so yeah. you can see, yeah, a bit extended neck there. So the, um, so the Swedes are using the uh, uh, this radar with Iris-T missiles. We, the Brits, are using this same radar, but we're firing our, uh, if you like, our version of Iris-T yeah. in Britain, which is the ASRAM. We fire modified ASRAMs. So we, everyone's kind of doing the same idea now. Done. Easy. Uh, let's go hypersonic. As good as these Iris-Ts are, they're not super powerful. They're not super fast. They're not Mark IV plus missiles like ESSM. So yeah. I just don't think they've got the legs for this, uh, but you take a punt at it. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, the boost phase is pretty short. Uh, even if they maneuver well, it has an inc incredibly short amount of time mm -hmm. for them to make up their mind <laughs> mm -hmm. where they're going to fly to. Yeah. And it's a pretty small warhead, so the yeah. fragmentation cloud is pretty small. So they need to actually pretty much hit stuff. But that said... Don't write them off just because they're old Viewingtons and, like we said, they're not as old as the really old no, 1980s no. stuff we were... Yeah, we were exactly. Years, so. I shouldn't, yeah, exaggerate now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pause! <laughs> All right, it's found. It thinks it's found a part. There it is. Yeah. All right, going to slow that down to our viewers. I've got to do it on the fly. It's going to do it. It's got yeah. the accuracy. It's using its thrust vectoring. Look how quickly that's turning. Bear in mind that's... Yeah! Brilliant! Well done, sir. Right! I received best ST. Yeah. Should probably have no problem taking this and, one out. And, yeah, exactly. And we can see also, as you mentioned before, the the, uh, the vertical launch. It's, it's yeah. a pretty perfect launch for these kind of uh, threats. Yeah, it is. Because now the missiles needed to go forward and then up. Yeah. These ones start uh, vertically. Look how close it got. <laughs> oh, it missed! I see it, it missed! Yeah, as I mentioned, they have a very small wow. uh, trigger uh, or defuse, the range. Well, if you were thinking, viewers, ah, it's cheating, it's cheating, it's not. It's all there and it's all modelled and it just didn't get quite close enough to trigger the fuse. And now, yeah, and bearing in mind we're 64th be... speed, yeah. there is no way of stopping that. Yeah, it seemed as these guys also had a very gambling guy behind the buttons, mm -hmm. sending up. <laughs> That's my only thing. I know we, we, I know we can't change it because we don't get to start it. It's all decided by a core game. But in real life, yeah. if such a dangerous threat of that thing that was coming down, uh, I would, I, I would hope they would fire more than one viewers. But <laughs> yeah. bang! Look at that. Yeah, it was thinking. Yeah, no, it's not my house. Yeah. Wow, brilliant, brilliant. What a brilliant data set, viewers, we've got there. Um, let's just uh, get a camera shot there and let's talk. Uh, CRAM shot down the subsonic cruise missiles, as we thought they would do. It's a modern 2000s plus system for shooting down exactly that, uh, which is brilliant. They could not shoot down the uh, ballistic hypersonic missile. They, they do not have to do reaction time and... I think everyone would agree that's how it would be in real life. Then we've got the NASAMS 2 from 2006. It could intercept the subsonic missiles and it didn't even bother trying to fire at the ballistic missiles. That's probably because it could not compute. It wasn't smart enough to compute a flight path.
with the missiles the solution then NATAMS 3 came along which is a big friggin daddy obviously it did the cruise missiles with ease and it got 100% PK against the yep. ballistic hypersonic missiles which is great why it's a brilliant missile it's it's a 40 mile powerhouse of a missile with a long burn time on the motor thrust vectoring a large warhead a large fuse and a good radar in in its you know in its nose it's got an amram radar and it's got everything going for it it must be one of the best missiles in the world then iris t which is it it's a damn fire missile viewers and it shot down with ease the subsonics as everything at this level you would hope would do then when it came to the ballistic missile it hit one and it missed one uh why is that uh, it's got the maneuverability there's no doubt about it. it's got the maneuverability it didn't have the burn time just the overall power the kinematics to get it fast enough uh it sent its fuse wasn't as big as the fuse from the other guy's warhead wasn't as big in terms of its seeker head it has got just one ir sensor yeah and, and it's uh, it's a pretty modern one it's an ir it's the uh, the imaging one uh, it's not the old ir sensors yeah. it's the one that actually compares to images presumably just not as good as a yeah. amram radar yeah yeah absolutely absolutely i found that the best yet of brilliant technology of what you would see on the battlefield now if if you moved in and you know started doing this um, I think that's great. Anything to add from CH? No, I'm happy. Well done, CH, and we'll see you later.